segment in our series. For those of you who have been following along, you'll know that I've been discussing Cadenze's approach to online learning with Brad Haysman, our Executive Vice President of Cadenze Inc. So it's been quite a journey um, and we have talked about seven effects so far. We have one more to go. So Brad, what is the eighth and final effect you'll be sharing with us today? It is the mastery effect. And by that, I mean one of the things that is central to all professional practice is being in control of the skills and techniques you need to do your trade. So the issue is, how do we do that online? And we're still working this challenge out. But it'd be fair to say most people are aware that, you know, there's a recent thinking that you need to do 10,000 hours of practice on something to be good at something. And by and large, that would seem to be pretty right. Although, you know, motivation and natural ability do come into this, whether you're an athlete or a medical doctor or a painter or a composer. So how do we actually design learning sequences that progressively challenge and have repeated practice? so that learners can not only see their improvement and so make their own learning visible, but also then be motivated based on that success to do better and to do more. So this is a very important thing and one of the, when I look at the Cadenze programs, what's emerging is a structure for this mastery of skills. And there are a few steps to it. The first is I've see, I see instructors posting curated, highly selected illustrations of practice. And this would be an illustration of a particular skill done expertly. Um, or it may even be a skill that's not executed expertly, but you can really see the, the, the physics of the skill at work and identified what's missing. So learning in motion, learning from the skills in motion is extremely important. And, and those illustrations of practice stand close scrutiny. That's step two, some really close observation. And what we see is a lot of observational work, detailed observation, often uncovering the layers and the sequences to the dynamics of a particular skill or technique. That that close inspection then turns into um, deeper reflection on what's been observed and the analysis of what's being observed and how that then applies to your own execution of the skill. And that can be done offline or it may be done offline, recorded, uploaded. Because again, we come back to the power of sharing and the network effect of having, well, in Cadenza's terms, I, I think one of the best galleries in the world, you know. I mean, what gets posted there is extraordinary. And you need that gallery so that work can be personally affirmed. Here is where I am with this particular skill and set of techniques, but also publicly shared. So it's personally affirmed and publicly shared. And that then takes us to the final step, which is seeking authentic application of the skill. And how do you do that? And that, that is structured in so often in what I've seen. That's structured so often into the fact that learners are then given, and it goes back to that fictional reality effect, they're given simulations, they're given opportunities, they're given these rolling scenarios where they have to apply the skills and techniques that they've learnt in an as-if real situation. And this creates a penalty-free zone for them. So yes, you can, you can, your skills can be flawed. They don't have to be perfect because we are dealing with a, a safe, no penalty zone of learning authentically, kind of authentically, authentically enough, authentically real enough. So that's the last of the eight effects. Um, extremely important and over time, building on what we know and have done, we're going to get better and better at this in the online learning environment. Okay, so there you have it, the Cadenze approach to online learning. 
For now. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been taking some notes here, so let's see how I do. Okay. Okay, so we talked about um, working with rich, layered approaches to learning and discovery, uh, grounded in the time-tested principles of arts education itself. Cadenze, um, our instructional designers seek to deepen online learning by embedding these eight effects that we discussed directly into our learning design for our courses. Yeah. The positive effects on learning when learners are asked to engage consistently in creation, to use and experience narrative, um, to be deliberately grounded in the real as well as play with the fictional realities. Yeah. Uh, in deep moments of reflection which are shared and critiqued in forums. Um, in patiently letting understanding and meaning emerge and cohere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All while enjoying splendid artistic redundancy and <laughs> committing to the serious challenge of mastery. Uh, mastery of skills, techniques, tradition and trends. How does that sound? <laughs>